What's up, what's up, everyone? How's everybody doing tonight on this beautiful Saturday evening? Actually, nighttime here in Ohio. Uh, we did get a little bit of rain today, but hey, it is what it is. It's been a long day for me, and uh, I was going to make a video last night, but like I said, I've been so stressed out for the past month and a half from doing getting laid off from a job cars breaking down uh hell i i just got back to work and uh as soon as i get back to work i haven't even i i got my first paycheck this this past yesterday and and soon as i get my paycheck i wanted to put it on bills but turn around my durango that i drive we was driving it down the road and the back brakes, drum brakes, literally exploded. And uh, I had to shake, shake, shake. So I had to go out and buy new brakes. So it, it's just, it, it's just been so rough. It's just been real rough. And, so I went out and got new brakes, new hardware, new br hardware for the back brakes, brand new shoes for the back end of the truck. I already got the, the new set on the passenger side, so at least we can get from point A to point B from where they exploded. And uh, it's just oh, power steering pump, hose blow. You know being laid off you know and and oh my god it's just been so freaking stressful and depressed you know for a month and a half while i was laid off you know everything was going good at the as soon as i got laid off i was like you know what i can get stuff done around the house they will bring me back blah 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 and more weeks it passed I realized it was almost the end of that month. I, I've been laid off for a whole month. And it's like, God damn it, you know, why why is this happening to me? Why does this shit happen to me? You know, I go out and help a lot of people. I don't even ask for money. I don't even ask help back. I just go out and do a lot of good deeds. And this is the kind of stuff I get repaid, getting laid off from a job. For a month and a half and then looking for a job then getting stressed out not getting my bills paid getting behind on bills and then you get depressed and you just lay in bed and you sleep all day and you just don't want to talk to nobody don't do nothing and then finally one day you're like okay this is enough I'm fucking tired of being this way. I need to do something. And you got people are like, dude, you need to get up, get out there, bust your ass, quit, don't give up this easy. You got this, you got this. So I listen to everybody. I get up, I go out, I get me a job. And as soon as I get a job, technically I'm still laid off, but I'm back to work at another place just for temporary till I can get back into my old job or till I can get the business up and running or whatever. And then the truck brakes explode on me. So now I'm stranded. Now I try to get that thing back home. Get it parked. Now we're trying to figure out how to get the kids to school. How do I get back and forth to my new job? And then while we're doing that, Friday comes along. Well, Friday comes along. I don't have a big paycheck. My check is very little. Just enough to buy brakes. That's it. I was expecting to pay a little bit on my bills. Get the power steering pump fixed. Put some food on the table. And then everything be fine. But no. I just had enough to buy brake, pack, or brake shoes. And that's it. In the hardware. Everything came up to, what, 70 bucks? And my... That will tell you my check is gone just on brake shoes. 70 bucks later. Now I'm broke again. Now I have to wait until my next paycheck. My next paycheck, it won't be very much. Why? Because the guy who trains me 
just taking vacation. So guess what? That happens. Now I'm stuck. Now I have to wait till a whole nother two weeks go by before I get a nice paycheck so I can get caught up on my bills. <clears throat> it's like I can never get a fucking head. So with this all going on, I pick up my other, I pick up my phone and I'm scrolling through YouTube. What's the first thing I do when I scroll through YouTube? First thing I do is I show you. This is what I do. I'm having all these issues, being all this, depressed and all that. Then I go to Go to Ryan Up Church and listen to one of his new songs. This me up so I can shine when the world's the darkest. I'll charge the ones who understand so we can change the brightness. Water to wine, but you go new to old born and grown. Leave a story in a book to be read when we're gone. And we go back. So, I'm freaking sitting there getting pissed off at these breaks, and you know what? I come into the garage, I turn on some Ryan Up Church, you know? It calms me down, it puts me back on the right path. It puts me back on the right path, and then I go to Bloodline. Then we start listening to the lyrics to Bloodline. I really have to get these commercials off my, off of it. But then I go to Bloodline. And I start listening to the lyrics to Bloodline. And while I'm listening to the lyrics to Bloodline, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. Fuck everybody. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to bust my ass at work. I will still do who I'm supposed to do help people work on their vehicles, da 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 My neighbor down the street, I welded an exhaust up for him what, about a month ago. I welded up an exhaust for him. Now, the another part of his exhaust breaks. You know, now it's time. I've been busting my ass this whole entire time. I haven't just sat on my ass and did nothing while I was laid off. I'm still trying to bring money in, right? But when do I get to cut a break? So the only break I can cut is listen to some Bloodline by Ryan Upchurch. I'm the star of the and I love the trumpets in it. The trumpets are badass. I love how he did this video. I'm the start of a new bloodline. Start of a new bloodline. I'm the star. Exactly. Then while I'm listening to this song, Start of the New Bloodline, another song came on. So I'm sitting here listening to these lyrics, right? So I'm sitting here going, you know what? Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. Pull up. I dare you to pull up. I dare you. Okay? I'm sitting here listening to these lyrics. I was like, this motherfucker, he feels my pain through the music. He's the singer. He's the writer of this music, right? Of what he just did, Bloodline. This is all him. He's the one that wrote it. It almost like he sat there and knew exactly what story I was going to tell about myself. And this is why people like me bust my ass every 
fucking day, every day, and this is the shit I get in return. I get shit like this. I get shit on. Something breaks down. Fuck, what's next? My house going to blow up? I don't fucking know. Something got the south side jumping. You know what I mean? So, I'm sitting there, <clears throat> listening to all these new songs he's coming out with, right? And remind you, at the same time, I was just depressed not very long ago. This is why, this is the music, this music from Ryan Upchurch made me get up one day and you go, you know what, fuck everybody. I'm going to go, fuck waiting to get, get uh, a call back from my job saying, hey, you're not laid off no more. Come back. No, fuck it. Everything's falling apart around me. I'm getting depressed. Fuck it. You know what I mean? And then we hear this a song. A new Planet Fitness location is coming Fucking soon. Commercials. I hate commercials. Alright, rolling. Ice cold. Ice cold. I built me a castle to chill in. It's in my line with a text that you name when we chill in. But I don't lie because I'm a different guy. And now I feel alive. Watch me juggle keys to these rides. No high beams because my eyes bright. World looking at me with some thin eyes. I'm dangerous to walk around. Never in the action on thin eyes. So you got. All these new songs coming out from Ryan Upchurch from this new album, right? It's almost like he's like, yo, Joker, how's your life going? Really? Really? Okay. Well, mine's going the same fucking way. But you know what? Fuck everybody. You got this, bro. In his song, he's talking to people like me. And people are sitting there bad-mouthing him. You know what? All what I gotta say to all those motherfuckers out there, fuck off. And even if I drown in my own sorrow, I'm still going down being so ice cold. If I destroy my life, at least it's all I know. The price to be remembered, I done made my goal. They expected me to do a tailspin. For first place, I'm a pro bitch. What's love, me in the microphone In the living room and I ain't home Ashes cover up my wood floors I'ma need a new car since my fire keeps gone What they be thinking Black my gold plaques on Satan They ain't got no ink but an ink pen And they contracts like horseshit Nobody care about your Porsche, bitch Fuck around, go burn my own bridge Standing on the other side, waving by Shoot a bird So the way I look at this The way I look at my life Is these lyrics, these songs, <clears throat> and everybody's like, oh, he, he, he lies, he does drugs, he does this, he does that, he runs a cult. You know what? No, he fucking don't, because what he does is he makes songs and busts his ass every day to go to work work on houses, whatever he does, vehicles, trucks, I don't know, and still has fun at it, and then he goes to work again to put out music like this to help people like me. To help people like me who's going through some badass shit. You know, when I, when I first started doing YouTube, YouTube started going up for me. It started going up, it started going up. I was working, I was going to work, working a full-time job for a while. Everything, vehicles were, the vehicles I drive, they was running strong, they was running good, maintaining them every week, doing things, upgrading, whatever I had to do to keep it out on the road, right? And then you get laid off, and then shit just starts to drop. And then you got people on YouTube going, Oh, well, Joker, you think you know me? I'm your mommy. I'm this. I'm that. I'm going to own you. And calling my job 
and telling people and other fucking YouTube channels and talking shit. But guess what? I'm still here, baby. I'm still here. And all what I got to say is I apologize to each and every one of you who has subscribed to my channel that I haven't made any videos lately. But this is the reason why. And Ryan Upchurch, all what I got to say to you, bro, is you hit another one out of the fucking park on all three of these songs that I have heard recently. All three of them. Ice Cold. Ice Cold. <clears throat> We got what? Ice cold. All three of these songs, bro. You knock these out of the fucking park, bro. I'm telling you. It's almost like, you know, everybody talks shit so much about you. And you can still stand with your head held high and not let shit fucking bother you. And how in the fuck do you do it? You, I understand you're younger than I am and shit, but you still fucking, you, bro, 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 and you're still knocking them out of the fucking park, bro, you are, but anyways, man, I just want to say to Ryan Upchurch, thank you so much on the music you make and the videos you put out, the lyrics to every single song I have ever listened to in my whole entire life since you've been out. You have helped me so much to get from being depressed, from literally getting laid off from a job going to being depressed back to getting up going out and finding a just a job just to bring a little bit of money in and going and and dealing with vehicles breaking down left and right and me fixing them and me helping people and not even getting paid for it But your music inspires me, bro. It literally... It, <clears throat> so if you're watching this, Ryan Up Church, bro, pat yourself on the back because you're helping a lot of people out there. Especially you're helping me. You're making me feel better. You're making me feel like a whole new man. You're... <clears throat> I'm following the dreams that I just stopped on all of a sudden because i was depressed and you and you helped me get out of a depression i appreciate that and with that being said i salute you on the three songs i just played i salute you and i apologize i didn't play the whole thing but i do salute you from the bottom of my heart if you're watching this bro rock on keep doing you and uh fuck everyone Fuck everybody. With that being said, Joker1014's out. Have a good night, bro.